Okay, we've uh, we did scalar multiplication last time. Uh, the dot product is, is another type of uh, a form of multiplication with vectors. Okay, um, and you can see the operation behind it is very simple. Uh, there's really nothing to it. You just take the component of the first, multiply it by component of the second, sum them all up. There you go. There's like a sigma sum notation for this too, but you know you don't really see that unless you're getting into other worlds. So. Um, here's the actual mathematical definition of it though, okay? Um, right off the bat, notice how this is a magnitude times a magnitude times the cosine of an angle. Okay, well that's actually going to produce a scalar. The answer to the dot product, you know, it, the product is going to be scalar. It's not going to be another vector or anything like that, okay? So uh, that's one thing, one observation, key observation. Um, the second, notice what happens if theta is 90 degrees or, you know, any, multi any even or odd multiple of pi over 2. Well, think about it. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, right? So any multiple of cosine of pi over 2, negative or positive, is going to be 0. So this whole thing, this whole side of the uh, definition equation will go to 0. So it, it, it starts to imply... Okay, that if the dot product is zero, then somewhere we have a right angle in there, don't we? Okay, and when I mean somewhere in there we have a right angle, I mean, say we have two vectors, and they can be anywhere in space, really. Um, you know, if they're equal in magnitude and direction, we can kind of slide them back together, okay, and we can, we can connect them. So... Um, the angle in between those vectors is going to be uh, the angle that we use in our formula. Okay, so if this if this is a 90 degree angle between the two vectors, then they're perpendicular. Okay, so that is kind of a useful useful thing. Okay, so um, you'll see that time and time again that we'll run into situations in vector calculus where we'll have to find a vector that's perpendicular to this or that. You get into physics, you get into force and all that, so um, it's a good thing to know. It's a good thing to know. So let's see if we can't um, use the definition here. And um, I just want to point out um, what I think is kind of a neat, uh, a neat thing, okay? Well, I don't know if it's neat, but it'll probably... Uh, teach you a little more about the dot product than you than you think okay so I'm gonna go right now I'm just drawing some stuff okay all right now here we go I'm ready now okay so here's that definition we talked about okay uh, the definition that we talked about of the dot product but what if I took two the same vector and dotted the, I dotted V with itself, okay? Well, according to the definition, I just take the magnitude of V times the magnitude of V times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So I've wrote cosine zero. My dog is messing with me with the other hand. I, I need to take her out after this video. Okay, so, but... But no, notice how uh, we've got vector magnitude v squared, okay? So let's see here. So let's just go ahead and say that vector v is equal to v1, v2, v3. Those are the components, okay? So what would the magnitudes be? Well, that would be v sub 1 squared plus v sub 2 squared plus v sub 3 squared. All under the square root, right? Okay, so let's simplify this, and this is just going to be magnitude of v squared cosine of 0, which is equal to magnitude of v squared cosine of 0 is just 1, right? Okay, so it still holds. We we got v dot v, okay, and we have over here uh, magnitude of v squared. So what was uh, v? So if let's go ahead and let's actually take v dot v over here. 
V dot V, this is going to be V1, V1, plus V2, V2, plus V3, V3, if we use that um, deal we used earlier, okay? Um, now, if we go up here and we take um, the magnitude of V, okay, and we square it, well, what do we get? We get we just get rid of the radical sign over here, don't we? So we get V1 squared plus V2 squared plus V3 squared, okay? So look at both of these guys over here. They check out, don't they? they I mean, we just this is just, you know, a square of com of the components. So it looks like, you know, the dot product checks out. So it's a, it's uh, it seems like it's working okay, but that, like I've said so many times before, I wouldn't consider this um, a mathematical proof. Okay, so just uh, let you let you know right there, uh, it's not a proof. Okay, so maybe we'll work on that in a little bit. But that's uh, the dot product for you, um, and just a couple things. We didn't go too deep into it. Um, we're just trying to re-familiarize ourselves so we can use it in vector calculus, okay? Um, I gotta take my dog out, so I will see you guys shortly. Have fun.